To ensure this industry is sustainable, many scientists monitor the kangaroo population. Professor Gordon Grigg is the most experienced of these. They are among the most abundant and widespread large mammals anywhere in the world. They've been that way for a long, long time and they continue to be now and I'm sure that uh, they'll continue to be into the future. In fact, I think they're much likely to continue to be abundant and widespread within Australia if there is harvesting than if there isn't. Because I think that if there isn't a harvesting of kangaroos leading to the reduction of sheep numbers and goat numbers, it's quite likely that much of Australia is going to be pushed to become uh, desert. Every year, independent scientists such as Professor Grigg of Queensland University conduct an aerial survey of the rangelands to estimate the populations. This is possible since these areas are open grasslands with very few trees, and by flying low, the trained scientists can spot the kangaroos below them. The aerial surveys are a sampling method. We actually count a small sample from the total area to be indicative of the whole area. And uh, we fly low, 250 feet, and we have an observer each side of the aeroplane who counts, and we count for, a, for five kilometre chunks. The data that we get are used by the various national parks agencies to set harvest quotas. It's an applied exercise to set harvest quotas these areas are being pressed to death by introduced herbivorous stock and I think that the long-term future of, of the rangelands, if it is to have an ecological and an economic future, is much more likely to be based on harvesting kangaroos, a humane and carefully controlled harvest of course, but nevertheless one which will now enable some ecological restoration to happen in this vast 40% uh, of the whole of this very large continent, Australia.